Hello everybody, in today's JavaScript programming lesson you can learn how to trap your website users just like Facebook does. This lesson will focus on the scenario where a user has typed something into a text area and they forget to publish that data they typed in before they navigate away from the page. To demonstrate this before we get started on the video lesson, let's all go to Facebook so they can trap us and ask us if we want to leave if we have unpublished data. And I will just let you guys argue amongst yourselves about the ethics about where and why you would apply such a script. I'm just showing what I wrote to mimic their application of it. So here I am on Facebook. Now let's see if I want to navigate, let's see, to the home tab. It lets me navigate just fine. Let's go back to your page. Now let's type in a couple of random letters into that and then hit your home tab. You see, it says you haven't finished your post yet. Do you want to leave without finishing? And then I can say stay on page or leave or whatever. It gives me that choice. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to program. Only if there's text in that text area. If there's no text, you want to let your users navigate away just fine. Okay, let's just start with the basics of an HTML page. And if yours happens to be a PHP page, the same thing. You can use the same kind of script. And mine is called trapuser.html, just for this little quick example. So I'm going to go into the head tag of my document, and I'm going to place in an opening and closing script tag for JavaScript. Now the first thing I'm going to write in there is window.onbeforeunload equal to function, and this is the function that's going to execute on before unload. So you open up the curly brace and close the curly brace for the function. Now within the function you simply type in return and then whatever you want to say to the user. Now you can run this and test it out but you gotta keep in mind that you have no text area in your page yet and this would only be for a really annoying script like the advertisers use. So let's run this in uh, like Chrome or something and let's try and close the window. You see? Are you sure you want to leave? And you can put any message that you want up here. So let me let me put something in that's different. You're about to leave. Okay, then if you run that, and you'll notice that in different browsers, you get a little bit of different message if you try and leave. See, you're about to leave. Are you sure you want to leave this page? Now, that's very simple, and everybody knows that. Let's put in a text area here. Let's give it an ID. Let's give it a value of user post. Like we were the Facebook programmers, and we're adding a text area to the page where our users can type in. Now, what you want to do is... Before this return and window on load function executes and gives the return to the user, you want to make sure and see if user post text area has any text in it. Now, what we have to do is put this in an if evaluation. So first, actually, let's get the text area into a variable. Let's say var ta is equal to document dot get element by ID, and we're going to target user underscore post which is the ID of this text area and then let's close that off and then we can just simply write an if statement right here open the curly brace go down under this return line and then close your curly brace under that and indent this so you see what's going on now you want to take this TA variable if TA dot value is not equal to nothing that means if there's something in the text area then and only then do you want to tell them that you have unsaved work. Now, let's run this bad boy and see what we get. So let's go to File, Preview in Browser, and we'll preview in all the major browsers here so you guys can see proof that it works in all of them. If I try and close it right now, it'll just let me go, which is what it should do. Now, if I preview in Browser Chrome again, and I type in even one little letter, and I try and close the window, it's going to say you have unsaved work. Are you sure you want to leave? So I can leave or stay. Or I can choose the other option, which is leave, and that would just navigate me away where I was going. Or it'll close the window if my intention was to close out the whole window. Now let's file preview it in Firefox as well. Let me get this window over here in this screen. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to close the window. And it lets me. That's great. File, preview in browser, Firefox. And actually, I'll let you guys try it out in all the different browsers on your own I won't waste your time but I've tried it in all of them and it works so let me try and close it now or navigate somewhere else page is asking you to confirm that you want to leave data you have entered may not be saved so you can leave page or stay on page alright now let's just go and check it in I want to make sure you guys understand that this works in all major browsers and you won't have to worry about 
compatibility issues with all the new major browsers. Now make sure you click allow block content for Internet Explorer because on your local machine it's going to ask you that. If this is live on a, a live website on the server you won't have that little allow blocked content question. Alright so let's try leaving the page without typing anything in and it lets us now file preview and browser Internet Explorer allow the block content and then let's type in a couple of letters and see if it lets us leave this time. Yep, there we go. It all works just dandy. Okay, so have a good time and have fun mimicking Facebook. Bye-bye.